Hello there, and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to show you how I made for me this DIY art journal. I start with pouring myself a cup of coffee, because it took me approximately an hour to make this journal. I'm going to be using this Canson watercolor paper, which I think works great for gouache and acrylics as well. And these are the paints that I'm planning to use in my art journal as I already have my watercolor sketchbook that I showed how I made it in another video. I will leave a link somewhere here so that you could check out that video as well. You can choose any other paper because for this type of sketchbook I think it doesn't matter at all which paper you are using. I'm starting out by pulling out 8 sheets of paper for my art journal and this will provide me with 8 signatures and 16 pages. It is good enough for me as I do not know yet how often I am going to be journaling. I also took some black hobby carton, which I am going to be using to attach the signatures to the cover in the future. I need to cut out two pieces of exact same size as other sheets in my future art journal. Just a small tip here, I'm using a golden watercolor pencil to make the marks on the black paper and I think it is seen great which is very comfortable when I start cutting. that all sheets are ready, we need to prepare our signatures. And that's very easy. We just need to fold all sheets in two. Make sure that the pages are aligned very well, because otherwise the journal will look rather crooked. That's why it took me quite some time actually to fold the pages, because sometimes they didn't look right from the first attempt. So I'm going to speed up the process so that you do not need to watch me doing all of it. Now the signatures are done and I think they are looking rather great. Now we need to put them together. And this is the trick that I use to make this no sewing DIY art journal. What you need to put the signatures together is another type of paper. But this time make sure to take very very thin paper. Probably the thinnest paper you can find. In my case I just used a usual printer paper. And what you need to do is to cut out stripes that have the same length as the spine of your art journal and approximately one and a half two centimeters width. But don't make it too wide because then it would steal too much space from the pages of your journal and you will see later on what I mean. But don't make it too narrow either because we will need to fold it and glue it and it would be very difficult if the stripes are way too narrow. You will need one stripe less than the total number of your signatures in your future journal, including those two cover signatures, so to say. If, for example, you have eight signatures, like in my case, plus two cover signatures, which makes them total in ten, then it means that you will need nine stripes. And 
just like I said, now that they are done, I'm going to fold all of them. And again, I was trying to be very precise so that the journal looks nice and accurate. Then I took a usual glue, which I thought would dry transparent, which didn't, which was a little bit of a pity. So if you will try to do the same art journal as me, then make sure that the glue you are taking is transparent, because then you will not have the white stains that I got later on, though I found a way to fix it. But anyway, moving back to the journal. So I took the glue and then first I put the glue on one half of the stripe and then I glued this half of the stripe onto the first signature and just I try to make sure again that it's very precise and very nice and I really took my time with it and then I put glue on the second half of the stripe and put the second signature on top and again I made sure that everything is aligned very nicely because you know even two or three millimeters here and there and then in the end it wouldn't look that neat and nice so I took my sweet time with them and I think this was probably the most time-consuming part of this journal but I really think it paid off in the end though it wasn't the idea to make it perfect of course because I'm just going to wreck it with my experiments so whichever way it would turn out I knew I would have been happy with it so if you are making one of your own, then just relax and get the pleasure out of the process. And when the signatures were glued together, I could already see how nicely it was coming alone. It was so nice to hold it in my hand and I could already see that it was opening flat. And because I used the, those paper stripes to glue them together at the spine, it is a little bit thicker, but only a little bit. And if I'm planning to put any collage inside of it anyway, then it doesn't matter at all. Then I went through all the pages just to make sure that none of them stuck together because of the excessive glue. And now I could start working on the cover. And as you might have guessed, for the cover I'm going to use the leather paper, which is one of my most favorite materials, I guess, because it has very unique qualities. It acts both as paper and fabric, so you can sew, you can glue, you can paint on it. It's really amazing and I thought that it would be a great way to add extra protection to this art journal. So I just cut out a piece that is slightly bigger than the art journal, probably like 5 millimeters on each side. And now I'm just going to glue it to the signatures using the same glue that I used before. I have used some uh, baking paper just to add uh, some uh, extra protection to the signatures from the glue that might be spilling from the cover. As you can see, there are some white stains left from the glue on the edges and even though I cleaned it up after it dried, it was still visible. But I'll show you how I have fixed it in the end. When 
I was done with the cleaning up the cover from the glue, I put on the heaviest book that was in my possession and left it there for a couple of hours. Then I started working on covering up the edges where the glue was seen. And as you can see what I did, I simply took the washi tape that I liked most at the moment and then I just glued it on top of it. And I didn't even use any extra glue, it just glued on itself perfectly and I think it ended up looking very cute. And now the journal is almost done, I like it so much, I think it looks so very nice. And by the time that I'm making this voiceover, I have already made a couple of paintings in it and it is a great pleasure to work in it because it lies flat and the paper is exactly the one that I wanted for my media, so it's just great. The only thing it was missing is that I really wanted something what would hold the pages together. So I took some uh, stretchy ribbon or whatever it's called and a stapler and uh, I put it together and then now I have something to hold it on when I'm going to put more stuff inside of my art journal like collage maybe or some extra paper, whatever it might be. I think this art journal turned out so nicely, I like it so much and I really hope that you will try making one as well and if you do Please share your results with me on Instagram, I would love to see them. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up so that more people would be able to see it. And see you in my next video. Bye!